Hello and welcome back. Time for a mailbag. I haven't done one of these for a while, so I've got a few. Okay, so this is labelled one times chip. Okay, so this looks like five LEDs, but these are actually five phototransistors. So I paid what must have been £7.25 for the five of those. I bought those to match the frequency of another device I'm hoping is in this mailbag. And this says one times laser module. Okay, this heatsink certainly looks quite chunky. Control board looks okay. Okay, so this was about 18 pounds and it's 100 milliwatts, 532 nanometers. Now, this doesn't sound very powerful. If you look around eBay, you'll see there's lots of very powerful lasers that are quite cheap. I actually had to search around a bit to find one that was weaker. The interesting thing about this one is it's got the TTL control. So I can turn it on and off with a logic signal which is uh, going to be handy for the use I'm going to put it to. I was interested in finding one that was lower power because lasers are actually quite scary. Very easy to uh, blind yourself with quite a seemingly low power output. And the purpose I want to put this laser to is a project idea I'm quite excited about. It's going to involve shining it around over longer distance and uh, I don't want any mistakes. Okay. This is labelled one times splitter plate. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Now, this is designed to be able to split a optical beam into two. If I hold this at approximately 45 degrees, you should get half an image of what's behind it and half an image of what's over there on my monitor. You might spot a bit of an optical theme to some of the packages in this mailbag. This was six pounds on eBay. Okay, no indicator on this what it is. Ah, some micro switches. I ordered these quite a while ago. Okay, this is a pair of photo transistors. These ones I think were a bit more expensive than the others. We got four pounds for two of them. There's a couple of things I wasn't too sure about the way these were gonna go into a circuit, so I bought a few different options. These are different in that uh, the base collector and emitter are exposed. Okay, these are just uh, a pair of three and a half mil mono cables. I actually bought these because I had a reason to want to wire the three and a half mil jack into a circuit and on eBay it actually just proved cheaper to buy a couple of cables and cut them in half rather than buying the individual connectors and, and getting separate wire for it. All right, it's just some captain tape. I've been meaning to get some for a while. This is uh, very heat resistant, so when you're using the hot air gun, you can mask off chunks that you don't want to uh, get as hot. one times LCD module. Okay, so this is a two line version of the four line module I've got currently attached to my CPU build. It's the same driver chipset, but I really like the, the blue versions of these. I've got a two line one that's green, but I just favor the, the colorization of this, so I thought I'd pick up one of these. I'm not sure what I'll use it for yet, but it'll probably be handy. I can feel inside here and know what this is. Two smaller bags. These should be identical. So these are laser glasses, which basically just means they're coloured glasses with a uh, documented uh, range of light they let through. So these cost £4.18 each. Not a lot else to say. 
Now this laser is a green laser and you might think at first glance that you want to matte colour with the laser glasses but obviously these glasses are visibly red to us because they're letting red light through so it's actually you want laser glasses that don't match the colour of your laser so they're going to provide some protection against the, uh, the laser light striking your eyes. No clues on this. Seems to be quite well protected against being folded though. These aren't quite as uh, neat as I expected them to be from the listing. I'm guessing these are hand cut. All right, let's find the listing. Okay, so these are pairs of first surface mirrors. I seem to have more than I paid for here, so I think these are reclaims of some kind. But I did order multiple sets, so I think they've probably uh, chucked in a spread here to make sure I've got what I need. But the special property about these is they're what's called a first surface mirror. I think I've got a larger one around here somewhere to uh, show that this better with. So here is a first surface mirror. And this is actually the back of it. If I hold my mirror up to this, you should be able to see there is a, a gap here caused by the thickness of the glass. But then the first surface side of it is on the back here. And if I hold my mirror up, you'll realize they come into contact. So the name comes from the idea that the, the very first surface that light strikes is reflective. Getting some first surface mirrors is handy for if you're doing optical experiments using say maybe lasers and you want to be sure that the laser light is bouncing without being refracted in a way that might be more difficult to control. I actually got these for a couple of different purposes. I have to try and clean these up and uh, see how good they are. But some of these uh, wider ones might actually be more useful for the purpose I want to put them to. Last one is an Amazon box. There we go, some flux paste. People have been telling me I need to get some of this for ages, so uh, hopefully you're happy now. Okay, here's my haul from this mailbag. Should be pretty obvious that I'm uh, planning to do a couple of experiments with, uh, with optics, so you can look forward to seeing that at some point in the next few weeks. But I hope you found this interesting, and um, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.